What is up, YouTube? It's Link Legend Russ, and today I'm here for another Nintendo Switch game unboxing. As you can see here, I just got back from my local GameStop while getting off work, and I picked up my pre order for Sonic Frontiers for Nintendo Switch, and it comes with a steelbook, which I'm going to talk about in just one sec. But before that, I just wanted to go ahead and show off this interesting Scarlet and Violet um, Pokemon game bag. So, anybody that might get a bag from GameStop, you might get one of these bags. Very awesome and dope. But let's go ahead and get into this. So, most people online would already be talking about this, but the Steelbook for Sonic Frontiers is in fact not made for the Nintendo Switch. It is a regular size Steelbook that you would get for like PlayStation or the Xbox series of games. So, while that sucks that it's not a Switch Steelbook, it is a steel book, and I mean, it was a pre-order bonus that came with the game if you were buying this game. So you can't get too upset with it. But um, this is the back. This is the back of it, and this is the front. The steel book is actually, I believe, a. It feels weird because I would have thought this side would have been here, and this would have been reversed. I don't know if it's like an Xbox steel book, but it is a steel book. Here's the. Here's where you would put the game disc in instead of a game cartridge i mean i'm gonna show it off how the game card would look like in the case but anyhow the further ado let's go ahead and get into this unboxing of sonic frontiers so as you can see this is um one of the first sonic games that i picked up day one it looks very promising and i hope that sonic team is finally learning how to make proper sonic games and not like sonic forces anyway Experience Sonic like never before. Worlds are colliding in Sonic the Hedgehog's newest high-speed adventure. Accelerate to new new heights, battle hordes of powerful enemies, and explore the fruit of high velocity, open zone platforming freedom across the five massive Starfall Islands. Welcome to the evolution of Sonic games. And then as you see, there's some screenshots there. Explore with unrivaled acrobatic freedom, battle enemies with an all-new combat system, Enter a world of adventure and mystery. It is one player TV, tabletop, and handheld mode. And with that, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. So, very simple and quick, you know, in rapid succession unboxing with this game. I mean, I do hope this game is promising. I mean, from most of the reviews kind of being mixed, that's just kind of how Sonic Team is in this day and age. And go ahead and flip it over real quick and... I'm going to move it because I know there's a code in here. I do not want to show that real quick. So I'm going to put this here. Here's the pre-order bonus code for the Adventurer's Treasure Set box. Excuse me. Redeem this code to give Sonic a boost on his newest journey. Okay. And on the back just tells you how to download it on the eShop. Now I can show, there's no inside art or anything special, not with this, just a bunch of warranties. Just telling you about Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Very good movie, I highly recommend checking it out. Here goes the um, game cartridge. And like I said, just for the fun of it, there goes your um, still book for um, this. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side along with this. And bring up my Nintendo Switch. Very funny. I'm just saying how um, this Sonic game is. I mean, I hope it's good. You know, I would love if Sonic Team brings back and ports like the Adventure series of games or something. So right now it's updating. And let's see. I can get. I know it's a guaranteed 60 gold coins. Let's see if the Japanese eShop warrants any gold coins real quick. Nope, so it's not compatible with that, technically speaking. At least redeeming like download codes or DLC. But you do get 50 gold coins on your on a European eShop, so there's that. And one more thing before I end this video out. So once again, got these. I'm gonna move my Persona 5. Sega's been definitely getting me to get some games. I also got this from GameStop. I don't know if it will show up in the video, but um it's very heavy. I'm not going to do an unboxing on this. But I recently picked up one of these Ottomans from GameStop. GameStop has a clearance sale. It's $30. Got it for $15. But I just wanted to show that off real quick. But with that, I'm going to end the video. 
I got another very special unboxing just coming up after this video. It took a little while to get here, and I'm going to do maybe a little rant or talk bad. But I'm sure if anybody knows what this is, they can leave a comment in the description. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video out. Like and subscribe. And as I always say, have a nice goddamn day. Goodbye. Have a good one.